Hello everyone, welcome to this part of the Reaper podcast, which I am to tell you that this Reaper podcast is going to be kind of short, sweet to the point, uh, being that nobody, I don't have nobody coming on, um, pretty much a lot of stuff has been messed up this, uh, this Sunday, um, pretty much just fucking everywhere you know so this is going to be straight to the point uh to you guys that this is kind of like like a reaper podcast but it's like a short little little audio thing um that i want to get back to uh next week with everybody else so to give you guys an update of what's going on is that uh, on my end, as you guys know, I am changing stuff, getting stuff ready to be changed to the new and improved, uh, channel and everything else, uh, getting ready to, uh, do that. With everything else, keeping content flowing, it is extremely hard to do, uh, especially with the voice acting that I am, uh, looking into and doing stuff for, um, so it, it's gonna be a cruncher, but yeah, uh, with Metal Gear, uh, VR ending this week, I'll be able to do, uh, Metal Gear for you guys, um, and then Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. I want to get those out of the way because it seems like the Metal Gear Solid, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to be redoing that as well. The Metal Gear Solid and VR and then the, um, the Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 will be the end of the, uh, sort of, uh, that was it M- MSX, uh, M- MXS or whatever. And Nintendo and the PlayStation era out of the way. And then next up would be the PlayStation 2 era. Along with the PSP era. And then it would be the PS3 era. Which would be like Metal Gear Solid 4. And then I'll be playing uh, Metal Gear. Even though it's not canon. I'll be playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Because that is an awesome game. And I, I love it. I wish it would make two. To be honest. Um, anything Metal Gear is pretty awesome, in my opinion. I mean, I'm a diehard fan of Metal Gear. I love Metal Gear. I'm a diehard fan. But the thing is, if, for instance, if somebody were to come at me and say, you know, hey, who cares Metal Gear Rising isn't canon it shouldn't nobody really care about it Heido didn't really even produce it you know I come back at him and say look Heido had plans for Rising to be you know in the in this universe between 2 and 4 but the thing is um you know, he, he he left it to do other shit. You know, he's like, dude, I'm going to be working on uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. And, or I think it was like Peace Walker then. Because I think while he was doing uh, Revenge, he was doing Peace Walker. I think, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure, I'm not pr- for sure, okay? Because it's been like a long while ago and a lot of shit has happened <laughs> in the gaming world and in me. My personal life. So I don't. You know I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it's Peace Walker. If it ain't Peace Walker. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's. It's Metal Gear Solid 5. But I'm pretty sure it's Peace Walker. You know because. Um, the PS4 wasn't even announced. And then so. So you know. I'm just. You know, I'm, I would tell them, you know, look, it's, it's something Heidel wanted to do and he didn't get the doo-doo. So, you know, 
shove off. You know, anything Metal Gear is good, in my opinion. You know, just like anything Final Fantasy. Well, almost anything uh, Final Fantasy is good. Anything Metal Gear is pretty good. Even the fan film Philanthropy One and what Philanthropy Two was gonna look like looked fucking awesome. Um, I loved it. I got the first movie downloaded and on my uh, hard drive, so I can hook it up to my PS4 and watch it. Um, to be honest, I wish it would release on Blu-ray. I wish it'd be like, yeah, here's Blu-ray. Yeah, uh, it'd be cool. I wish they would do two. Uh, part two um that would be really cool and i loved it um because it's like us metal gear fans have wanted a movie for years i mean this thing is practically a movie in itself except for five kind of but it's practically a movie in itself and then the thing is you know it's that close i mean that just it's as good as a metal gear game or movie you're gonna get so, yeah. <laughs> um, but with with everything going on, I'm getting the game capture. I'll have the game capture uh, when this when this uh, comes out. I would already have the game capture and working on um, on how to record it and how to how to do everything. And that's what I get with any equipment I get. Um, I have to learn how to record. Do I have to get? other stuff um you know what i mean and it's gonna be hard because i the way everything is set up i mean i'm probably gonna have to get a um a mic stand for it um because i have this arm for whatever you know i might even buy me another mic and a mic stand so i can um I can use use shit, you know, I can switch it back uh, between, you know, like, okay, I'm going to use this mic for for my podcast or whatever, and I'm going to use the other mic for, because, like, I have to be on the side to use this mic, I'm pretty sure, um, but I like to be up out front, you know, with the TV, so, so I'm going to figure that one out, um, I'll probably... I'll just like be figuring it out or whatnot, but most likely I'll probably save up enough money to get another mic, um, just other shit. That way I could be like, boom, prepared, you know. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. But I do want to uh, talk about Assassin's Creed. I finally, finally got to see Assassin's Creed. It wasn't too bad. Okay, folks, let me. Watching the Angry Joe's uh, review, it's understandable because he's played the series as as do I. I played the series. But let me put this to you guys. Nothing is going to get as good as Mortal Kombat 1. Um, the reason being is Mortal Kombat 1 had... All we ever known is that you pick a fighter to go through Mortal Kombat. Whatever fighter you pick... And if you beat the game, you beat Mortal Kombat. It's simple. There's the evil sorcerer Shang Tsung. You have to beat the last level. Who morphs into, you know, people you beat. If you beat all, you know, if you beat him, boom, you're, you know, you win. That is straightforward. You know, a lot of these Nintendo games didn't really have a deep story. Except for, like... I'm spinning everywhere, except for like Final Fantasy and Zelda, but most of these games never had a fucking deep story, you know. Sorry, I'm, I don't know why, my sign is kicking all of a sudden, but it's, it's a deep, deep story, you know, um, versus Mortal, Com- something like Mortal Kombat or um, Street Fighter, which doesn't really have that much of a deep story, you know, um, the new shit actually has a deeper story now, you know, but the thing is, before those games came out, um, you know, came out Mortal Kombat movie, 
which was fucking awesome. That's like the grade A of a mo- um, a video game, you know, because there wasn't no story, hardly storyline. You know, you didn't have Johnny Cash's storyline. You didn't have, you know, all all you knew is you pick a fighter, you go to Mortal Kombat, you beat all these people in the ladder, and then you beat this evil guy, and then you win Mortal Kombat. That's it. You know, I mean, any person can make a fucking story out of that. But, you know, Mortal Kombat 2 came around, and I was just like, oh my god, why? But, but Assassin's Creed, you know, I, they want to do it like a series. And I'm seeing the same effect as Resident Evil. Okay, Resident Evil 1 movie was, fuck, in my opinion, was phenomenal. Because... You know, would I like to see the original movie, uh, Resident Evil, become a movie? Yes, I would. I would fucking love it, and I think everybody would. But the thing is, these directors are like, it's predictable. Yes, it's predictable. I don't know how many times I play the game, it's predictable, but still, it's scary as shit, and shit pops out at me, and I'm gonna jump. And, you know... It's like, no matter how many times I play Metal Gear, yeah, it's predictable. Yes, I know what's coming. Yes, but I still love it. I'm still going to play it, and I'm still going to watch the cutscenes and shit. That's that's true of every gamer. Every gamer just wants to relive it, relive it, redo it, redo it. You know, it's not about getting good. It's about reliving the moment. With the video game... A movie, it's, they want that concept. They want it like, okay, it's predictable. I played it. I've seen the cutscenes. I want to fucking see the movie do the exact same shit. Then when it doesn't deliver, that's like, fuck. <laughs> you know, I paid money to see this shit, and it's not even happening. The fuck. You know. And I understand that. You know, but at the same time... You know, um, I predicted it, and I think I've said it in the other podcast, and I I think I've said it in my Twitter post, that this was going to be not a continuation of the story, but pretty much kind of like an add-on, okay? Look at Black Flag, look at Rogue, and look at uh, Syndicate. Or what? No, no, wait. Syndicate, and then there was another one. Unity? I think I, I think Unity was one. But look at them. Um, Black Flag and Rogue, I think. Those two are the same... The same people. Or the same modern person. Um, Unity and... And Syndicate, I think they're the same person, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not not really for sure about that. But if you look, it's different modern people. Um, One is an employee of Astergo. One is... Is... uh, You know, is like a person that's at home playing a video game. And then they upload it, and it's like, oh, cool, you know. But the thing is, the thing is, it's it's funny. Because when I watch Assassin's Creed movie, you know, they said it's it's in the same universe, okay? Rogue and everything else was in the same universe, just different people. And different, you know, different people back then and different people here which they did but in the same sense did the uh they redid everything like in Assassin's Creed 1 except the guy didn't even know you know and the guy didn't even know shit and it's reminiscent you know they they captured this person um they Force him into his animus machine to relive the past of a assassin, master assassin or whatever that had the apple of Eden. We want to know where it's at, 
blah 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 you have this woman assistant then you have this head person and shit like that (laughs) you know but it speeds up the process because you know eventually the modern people become modern assassins but the Desmond didn't really get that way until after two I'm pretty sure. Yeah, after two, then he became the assassin. So, I mean, that's the only difference. They've, it's it's a lot of work they've done uh, for this movie. And the clue that it is binding, like all the Assassin's Creed games, mobile, the short little movie of Ezio, uh, the mobile games, the, the other games are all fucking together, you know, and that's that's partially reason why they didn't release a game, because it's in the same essence. If, to be honest, they would pro they were probably going to do this as a game, to be honest, and they're like, no, this is too much like Desmond's story, from the first Assassin's Creed. People won't like it. Let's just turn it into a movie, which is why Ubisoft was involved. You know, because that was probably the original storyline of the game that was supposed to come out last year. But it's too... It's too Desmond-y. You know, it's too reminiscent of the first Assassin's Creed. So they're like, oh, okay, we'll just turn this into a movie. I don't know what this year's going to bring. I don't even know if they're going to make a game. Um, if they do, if they do, it'll probably be a different antagonist altogether. Um, to be awesome, I want to see, like, Connor and, uh, the Assassin from Unity and Evie and Jacob Fry from Syndicate, you know, come together in that area. But he did say, the director said he wanted to do it, um, what was it, Assassin's Creed for, like, a Civil War or something like that. Which, that would be cool. But, but the more, to me, the more you get into modern times, like Civil War, and you're getting real close, to me, that's when it becomes, uh, because, dude, Assassin's Creed is like, you know, like Altair and Ezio, back in that time, that was the shit. Then you get up to modern times. I mean, they made it work for Connor. Okay, that was pretty cool. But in Civil War, I don't know. I mean, that's for the second movie, you know. But but like I said, once you get everything so up close to the modern times, even though, yeah, it's, it's back in the Civil War. Oh, okay, it just like dinged on me, sorry. I don't have my headset in. I'm too lazy. I'm trying to get this uh, done so I can get it out of here. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and enough talking about the Assassin's Creed movie. But honestly, I'd give it, I give it an eight out of ten. Why? Because one, it's not really close to the games. It doesn't tie. The only thing it ties into the games is you see the weapons. That they gathered Connor's weapons, Altair's weapons, you know, in that sense. But, you know, they did make it reminiscent of Assassin's Creed 1. They made it cool. Uh, it was slow going. And then the one thing I don't like is reading. Back in that time, the time period, I know they use different languages, but, you know... In the video games, they they did that little glitch, and they're like, "Hang on, we gotta adjust it." You know, they kept some words in there, like when Ezio would say "bene," you know, uh, or it'll say "res resclia" or whatever. You know, they kept some words in there, but mostly it's English. You know, why didn't they do that with this? It would make sense. You know. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's in a sense that um, Rebecca did that stuff. Rebecca and and Lucy did that kind of stuff, and they never, you know, they never exposed it to anybody, you know. 
So I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. And it's like, well, how do you explain Rogue and Black Flag? And, well, I don't know. <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know. But anyway, let's move on. I've seen the Super Bowl trailer for Transformers last night. Oh, my God. I cannot wait for this. And it's sad to say that this will be Michael Bay's last film. It is sad, and I really hate that. But I know he's probably going, man, this is like the fifth or sixth film I've worked on. Um, yeah, fifth. This will be the fifth film I've worked on. You know, it's bound to get tiring, you know. So, it sucks. Optimus goes crazy, I guess, and it's part of, like, the Knights, like, uh, Knights, uh, Knights of the Round Table stuff like that, and I cannot wait to see this, um, especially going to be the last Michael Bay film, I've seen the Power Rangers trailer, and I, I've seen the Angry Joe, and he's like, oh, why does it got to be Transformers, well, really, it wouldn't make sense, they're trying to make it realistic, it's like, okay, if we want realism, I mean, look at Transformers, you know, the way they transform with the little figurines, and and everything doesn't make sense, but if you put it in Michael Bay's sense, yeah, it works. So they're going to go with that, you know. For granted, uh, I wanted, if it was a remake, you know, I wanted them to go down the, and then they put rap stuff in it, and it's like, uh, why, why not just do, you know, but I can't wait to see that. That it may it may be interesting. I might want to watch it, you know. But whatever, whatever. Um, the movie that I've I've seen the Super Bowl trailer is Ghost in a Shell. Very excited about that. Uh, also concerned because when you try to take an anime which is full full of Japanese culture. You know, they westernized a little bit of it so we can get it. You know, some translation here and there. But once you take a anime and try to make it a film to where all western people could watch it and not get lost. You know, not saying, it goes to show, to be honest, you can watch that without, you know, you know what I mean? Well, not to mention, I think it would help it that it was what The Matrix became of. You know, they took Ghost in the Shell and they're like, we want to make a movie out of that. Boom, The Matrix. So they're like, okay, how, you know. So they made it into a movie and it looks phenomenal. Okay, and the thing is, Dragon Ball Evolution in the trailers looks phenomenal. Kind of. It looked weird. I didn't really understand it. You know, until I watched the film. I'm like, this is garbage. This is why I didn't understand the trailer. But the trailer looked phenomenal, and I hope, I hope and pray, you know, I haven't seen any of the Attack on Titan, Titan movie, I didn't, I know they're making a Full Metal Alchemist movie, I know they're making a Bleach one, but <sighs> Ghost in the Show, I really hope they don't ruin it. Because then I just give up hope of them ever making a good anime movie or a live action movie in America. Because it's. You get people that care about it. You know, or actors that, that think they care about it. And then it's just like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, the games that I'm playing right now, let's move on from that. And the games I'm playing right now are World of Final Fantasy. And it's 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 great. You know, it's pretty good. It reminds you of the original Final Fantasy, the way the everything is. And it's great, but I cannot take the cutesiness and the kiddish stuff. It's like watching a cartoon for little kids that, you know, uh, uh, why, mm. but anyway, it's, 
at the cutesy, the cutesy wootsy. I can't take the cutesy wootsy. You know, Final Fantasy has some cutesy wootsy, but most of it is just bad ass and this. This has no bad. This is like Pokemon, but cute. Okay, it's the exact same thing. It's 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 Pokemon, but cutie cutie woody. I I don't know. Uh, but I got it. It's cool. Sora's in it from Kingdom Hearts. They have all the badass people from. Final Fantasy, and I guess I will shove on. I want Cloud. <laughs> I wish Final Fantasy 15 was in it, to be honest. And, you know, you never know. They might release a DLC for that. But, uh, cutesy bootsy, man. I can't take cutesy bootsy. Ah, uh, I can't take it. It's too cute. No. But I did beat all of Kingdom Hearts 2.8. I think I've said that last time. And it was pretty cool. I want Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm waiting for 1.5 and 2.5. So. Once I have that in my position. Then I will be fucking happy. I will be so happy. You don't understand. I'm happy I can be. I'm going to be happy. Happy motherfucker. Okay, anyway, um, so, yeah, it's pretty good, I like it, uh, for me, I beat Final Fantasy XV because I stay, I hold myself back and build up my characters to where I can fucking get past the shit, Kingdom Hearts, I tried to hold myself back, and then I'm like, fuck it, I need to complete this, so I can play 2.8, because I'm sick and tired of seeing fucking photos on YouTube, and seeing videos going, hey, look at this, see, cutscene, tired of it, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play 2.8, I've watched the, the movie before, I done Dream Drop Distance, but, I watched that, and then I did uh, Dream Drop Distance, and then two, uh, 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, <sighs> and it was awesome, and at the end, I'm like, oh my god, so I never looked so damn good, and then, and then, it's funny, because like, when I was watching it, and, uh, you know, how Nomura said, oh, no, no, 0 0.2 won't, won't go into Kingdom Hearts 3, back cover won't go into Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, Dream Drop Distance is, is the real thing that goes, uh, that goes in that. So I'm like, cool, okay, <laughs> nope. Fucking Nomura tricked us. Uh, I think he came out and eventually said yes. And, and you know. 0 0.2 is like a. The sequel. To. Um, to that. So. Oh my god. I can't wait. <laughs> this is so awesome. Um, I'm trying to get games that. Um, but right now. I'm inventing a drum machine. So I can do my own beats. Um, after that, uh, what am I getting? I'm getting a cord. There's the other shit I'm getting. <laughs> and I can't remember. Um, some cord shit. So I can hook up my shit. Uh, new keyboard. I'm getting a fucking new keyboard. Because for one, usually when I do stuff in the dark, or, you know, I it's kind of dark anyway, right here and below. Um, and it illuminates, so I'm like, yes, and it goes with my uh, mouse. I mean, eventually, I'm going to, like, when I get my computer, I'm going to be like, uh, well, I mean, I got a computer now, but when I get a better computer, I'm going to take this and take it upstairs, take it to my father, which, um, he has a laptop, okay, my father has a laptop, <laughs> And it's every time I see him, 
and the laptop. It is busted. <laughs> and it looks horrible. And it's like, dude, 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 dude. You know. So I'm going to like just fucking delete all kinds of shit off of this. And just fucking uh, give this and go, here. Every time I see you with the laptop. Come on. You know. So. <sighs> But that's my plan anyway. And then I had an opportunity to drive somewhere to get a TV, bigger TV, which I want. But I'm like, fuck, I can't do that. So enough of the rambling I'm going on about. I am sorry. <laughs> um, right now I'm at a stop on my Buster Sword. Yeah. Sucks, but yeah. Um... Metal Gear news, of course, has stopped for a while because it's they've had shit sealed tight. I mean, they even got Robert Peeler fucking all hush hush, you know. So, I mean, the only thing I could tell you is that um, somebody put on Twitch Metal Gear Rising two, and. Robert Peeler is like, I don't know, you know, I don't know who put that on her, but we didn't put that on her, so we're going to take it off. One person did make a point that, you know, he's using a shaggy defense, which is, I never heard of it, and it's funny as shit. It's, it stems from It Wasn't Me, a song that the shaggy did, and it's called a shaggy defense. If you know, any, I mean, evidence, evidence right there. It's like, dude, right here, you're fucking stealing. That's your face. That's your jacket you're wearing right now. And then you look at him and say, dude, it wasn't me. And, you know, that's the shaggy defense. You know, it wasn't me. So he's doing that, which I'm like, I don't know. But it could possibly be, you know what I mean? That's funny. You know, it's it's funny uh, to think of the shaggy defense. Dude, you use a second defense, you know. It wasn't me. Nope. You know. Oh. But guys, this is a short Reaver podcast just explaining different stuff. What my topics were. Um the full cast or not full cast, but people will be back on. Um eventually I want to get back on the Wacko Zacko podcast. Uh we're we're talking back and forth right now about it um right now i'm doing a couple of voice voice training um one is i've developed one (laughs) my kid says it sounds like the joker you know so like the whole thing was like he the brownie thing and i'm like eat your brownie and then eat your hot fries you lit the monkey, you know, he laughed, he thought it was funny, uh, the other one is, like, like, the Sith Lord from, uh, Star Wars, you know, come to the dark side of the force, become one, and then, like, you know, my son's response was, like, I'm already part of the dark side, and then I'm like, good, good, yes, become my apprentice you know I'm, I'm still working on the voice thing but i don't want to do too much and strain my voice to where i can't i'm doing an episode just like you know like that and then i go over the voice and going hey this is me i was a dumbass i used my voice and stretched it out too much to where i'm playing and doing a voiceover you know doing that bullshit <laughs> I hated. I did the voiceover shit for what was it, Resident Evil Zero? Because I fucked up. I think my audio fucked up so much for. Yeah, I think it was Resident Evil Zero, to where I had to fucking redo the audio and everything, and I fucked up so bad. But everything was good now. I got a good platform, got everything. So. Guys, I will see you guys next time. Uh, Make sure to check my shit down below. 
um, I'm going to re- redo the Reaper podcast eventually, so don't worry your pretty little heads. And I will see you guys next time around. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification, you know what I mean? Hit that like, comment, please, come on. It does me a well, well good, and I do need it, you know, I need subs. Please, please, sub. I am begging on my feet. Please. Begging you. Come on. But anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to this Reaper Podcast. And I will see you guys later.